Howdy folks, the Greenside Project here, very excited because today is day one of Warbus Ties July Challenge in August. Oh yeah. Um, here is the Command HQ that I was working on yesterday. Finished the banner. You may notice that it's very different from the banner that I showed you guys planning and drawing up uh, yesterday. Purely because I started painting that one and it looked awful. There was loads of detail in there, it needed a very delicate touch, which I certainly didn't have yesterday. And in the end, it looked kind of cool because there was a lot going on in it, but mostly it looked a bit of a mess, the colours weren't matched properly, it just wasn't aesthetically pleasing. So, scrapped it, tried something much simpler, that was much less of an ordeal for my painting talents, and actually I'm quite pleased with the results here, I think it looks like quite an effective little banner. Um, I free-handed some uh, sort of Celtic gold patterning around the edge that's not coming out too well in this video, but you get the idea. So that's my uh, HQ veterans sorted and got those sorted just, just at the end of last night. So today on day one of the challenge proper, what have I got done? Firstly, got my old school Metal Scouts undercoated. Uh, people that haven't seen those before, these capes are uh, green stuffed camo cloaks that I put on. He's going to be my sergeant, and he's got a lovely hood on to protect his hair from the rain. Also, we've assembled the last two of our infantry models for the Dark Angels force. Um, we've got you know, company commander and librarian from the Dark Vengeance box set. They always assemble really nicely, these for the plastic kit. The only thing to watch out was there is a slight seam, a little gap in this guy's cloak. What I should have done was got some uh, polystyrene cement. Put it down there, let the metal, the metal, no, let the plastic melt together and then file it down. Unfortunately, I've got sort of a brain disease where once every six months I forget how uh, useless liquid green stuff is and think that I should use that. So I tried using that, it's not gone particularly well. I'll get it looking okay, file it down. You can see I've got the cork bases done for these guys, just need to put a bit of sand on, then they're almost ready for priming. What I was going to get done today, but haven't had a chance to get done totally. The Forge Old Venerable Dread needs a wash. Now, you might have heard some drilling in the background at the beginning of this video. Currently, my girlfriend and I are having a new bathroom fitted, which is very fun, but does mean that the uh, water keeps going off, so I've not had a chance to wash these and get the release agent off, which anyone who's used Forge World or seen Forge World videos will know you've got to do. Got to wash them in warm, soapy water, otherwise... The release agent used in the mould stays on, the paint doesn't stick and they're generally just nasty to touch. So that's most of what I got done today. One last thing, if you look out my window, this tub is full of uh, old Imperial Guard and Subsistence of Battle Minis that are being, uh, having the paint stripped. Just a bit of nail varnish remover in there. I've put it out, so I don't have to, out the window so I don't have to breathe in any nasty fumes. But anyway, that's what I've got done so far today. Question one of the challenge is hobbies unrelated to minis. Here we go. My hobby is I play guitar. I've played it for many, many, many years. All sorts. Started playing a lot of electrics and a lot of sort of prog and heavy metal. Nowadays, as I've gotten older and slightly more boring, I play quite a lot of acoustic and folk stuff. Where I live in... Uh, England is very good for sort of small local pubs where you can go, you can play folk music, have a good time. I do quite a lot of that, that's what I'm off to do tonight. And that's my hobby. Like the miniatures hobby, the more time you put into playing guitar, the more satisfying it is. And I think that's why I'm a big advocate of both. Anyway, there we go guys, have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow for episode 2 of the challenge.